In Turbo Tinker 13, we assembled the TinkerPie robot. Next, we'll program it to use a second microbit as a remote control. If you're not up to speed on the microbit, you may want to check out these other videos. We're going to start with the blocks we created in Turbo Tinker 16, where we learned how to drive a motor using the microbit's onboard accelerometer and radio. You can either recreate them from this image or download the hex from the link in the description. We'll use one program for the remote control and another for the robot. We'll start with the remote. First set the radio frequency to a number between 1 and 100. Duplicate the radio send block. As we tilt the microbit, we're going to send x equals in the value of the x-axis and y equals in the value of the y. Download the hex and save it to your first microbit, the remote. Next we'll program the robot. Set the radio frequency to the same number as the remote. Here we need to evaluate the values sent from the remote like x equals 15 and y equals 100. Create two variables called x and y to hold these values. As the values are coming across the serial port, we need to evaluate whether it's an x or a y, so we'll use the if then block for that. Clicking the plus button adds an else block to the if. Set the value to y if the name is y and to x if the name is x. Building on the forever loop we created in the last video, we're going to first divide the number coming from the remote's accelerometer by 10. This is because the motor has a range of 0 to 100 and the accelerometer range is 0 to 1024. To determine the speed of the wheels, we're going to use two formulas. For the left wheel, it's y plus x divided by 10, and for the right, it's y minus x divided by 10. If we're moving in reverse, we'll drop the minus sign using the absolute function. We'll need two variables to hold the speed of the motors. Create a variable called left motor and one called right motor. Next, set the blocks up to populate the variables using our formulas. For each wheel, our direction is determined by whether the number is negative or positive. If it's positive, set the direction to forward and the speed to the variable. If it's negative, set the direction to reverse and the speed to the positive of the variable. Finally, download the hex to the microbit and your robot is ready to roll. You can download both hex files from the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.